If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. Today, guys, I have some information breaking from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account. Again, I will leave a link to that in the description below if you guys are interested. If you want to follow him on Twitter, it's at M-U-T underscore L-E-A-K-S-1-9. So, Mutt Leaks 19. And guys, this is some breaking information. Like I said, they have broken a ton of legends that are probably going to be added, added to Madden Ultimate Team 19. They're for sure in Madden 19, so I'm assuming that they'll be in Mutt as well. You guys see it on the screen there. Michael Irvin added at wide receiver. Again, he's coming back from previous Maddens, so that's not a big surprising one or anything like that, but certainly one of the more physical receivers that you can have in Madden, and that's always a good thing to have. He's usually a pretty good blocker, usually a pretty good aggressive catch guy as well, so that's definitely a good card to add. Now, at tight end, we do see John Mackey making his return. I think this is the first time he's been in the game since like Madden 15, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody can correct me on that, but uh, it's been a while since he's been in the game. That's a tight end. Then at wide receiver, we actually have Steve Largent making his return to the game as well, former Seattle Seahawks receiver. Um, obviously not a huge physical beast or anything like that, but usually a pretty good possession guy. At quarterback, Brett Favre. Yes, the biggest armed quarterback in Madden is back this season. I think he was not in Madden 18, if I remember correctly, so it's kind of cool that he's back for Madden 19. He was in Madden 17. That was one of the highest, uh, most wanted legends, if not the most wanted legend in the entire game, so it's really cool that he's back. At running back, Walter Payton is back. You guys know this. He was one of my favorite cards to use back in Madden 25 and in Madden 15. I loved using him when he was a quarterback. I hope that they do another Ultimate Freeze promo where he can be a quarterback again. I know that's like completely ridiculous. He's a running back. I get it. But it was so much fun to use him at quarterback. So I hope they do that again. And at fullback, we have Mike Allstott, who is, you know, obviously one of the best fullbacks that we've seen in a long, long time. Um, kind of a modern era type of player, um, but played fullback because, I don't know, he was just a beast. <laughs> like this dude is a monster. So he'll have some huge like trucking and attributes like that. Probably pretty similar to like a LeGarrette Blunt type of player. Maybe with even a little bit more receiving ability though than a LeGarrette Blunt. So uh, those are your offensive legends that were leaked. There are actually more of them and I'll get to them later. But this is the first screen that was leaked. So this is something that they're they're putting out in some sort of way. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with this. We'll hopefully get more information on this soon. Uh, but let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. And on defense defense, guys, we have uh, starting on the left side of the screen there, Antoine Winfield at cornerback. Yes, Antoine Winfield is getting a legend card. I don't know. I, I, I want to say this is the first time he's had a legend card in Mutt. I know he used to be in Madden just as like a standard player back in like Madden 25, Madden 13. I don't think he was in Madden 15. I think he was out of the league by then. Uh, but it's been a while for Antoine Winfield, one of the best tackling corners that we have seen in quite some time. I don't know that he'll have huge hit power, but he'll definitely have a ton of tackling attributes. He'll probably won't be one of those guys that you just want to get towards the end of the year uh, when cornerbacks need to get block sheds, when they need to get tackles on running backs and things like that. Um, I'm sure he's going to be one of the most sought after cornerbacks, along with the other guy on the opposite side of the field, Dick Lane. Yeah, Night Train Lane is back. We've seen him in many years uh, in Madden. He's usually one of, if not the best cornerback in the game because he has big hitting. He usually is a pretty fast player. Usually he has great attributes for catching the football as well. So uh, a lot of really, really good cards. And, uh, you know, obviously at cornerback, it doesn't get a whole lot better than those two as far as, you know, wrapping up tackles, making big hits and uh, making the defense pay when they make mistakes. Now at safety, we have two guys that are returning from Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and that is Cliff Harris at free safety, and then we've got Ken Houston at strong safety. Both of them are pretty solid last year. They weren't the best players in the game, but they were both pretty good. And at linebacker, we have some returning legends from previous years. Jack Ham at left outside linebacker. You guys probably remember him. A slower card, but certainly a big hitter and a guy that forces fumbles, things like that. Ray Nitschke at middle linebacker, kind of similar. And then, of course, Ricky Jackson, again, returning from Madden 18. So three old school type of legends, guys that are probably not the fastest players at their position, but pretty beastly players nevertheless. Now on the defensive line, we've got some new players coming to Madden Ultimate Team, or at least some guys that haven't been in it for a while. 
Number one at right outside, right defensive end, excuse me, Deacon Jones. He hasn't been in the game for a couple of years. You guys remember him, big time pass rusher. On the opposite side, Jason Taylor, one of my favorite defensive ends ever in Madden. I remember back in the day, he was like the best player in Madden at a point. Seriously, like he was so dominant on the field. I just remember being terrorized by him whenever he was the opposite team. And then at defensive tackle, we have two guys. Number one, Warren Sapp, who's returning. He hasn't been in the game in quite a few years, I think since Madden 25. And then we have Alan Page of the Minnesota Vikings. I believe this is his first year in Ultimate Team. One of you guys can maybe, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it certainly has been a while since Alan Page has been in the game, and he should be just one of those guys that wrecks things in the middle. Probably going to have crazy power move probably going to be a good guy for pass rushing at defensive tackle in addition to being one of the best run stuffers so I'm super excited about all these guys and uh, again I have more to give you today yeah mutt leaks dropped more information so these aren't the only legends that we're getting we're getting more so let's take a look at the quarterback position because that's the first one that I saw and you can see some new legends that are being added to the game well I think all these guys have actually been in the game before but it's been a long time since Joe Montana has been in the game we're also getting an Otto Graham who's going to have 83 speed it appears really good agility on that card as well so uh, really nice attributes there. Also, you've got Steve McNair, who has really nice agility at an 86. We know that that's pretty important for doing some of the spin moves and things like that. Brett Favre, obviously, John Elway, um, you know, Warren Moon, Troy Aikman. I mean, we've got some nice legends that are making their return here to Madden 19 Ultimate Team. So I, I think EA did a pretty good job on this, to be honest with you. And we have actually more quarterbacks than that. If you scroll down even further, you're going to see guys like Sammy Baugh. You're going to see guys like Kurt Warner and Randall Cunningham, Dante Culpepper, and then there's also a George Blanda card. So uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll go over that. There's going to be a, a couple of kickers that are actually added. I'll show you those at the end. But um, yeah, George Blanda is a kicker. He might also be eligible to be played at quarterback as well. We'll have to see exactly how that ends up breaking out. Um, but he has some, you know, decent attributes, it looks like, for, for rushing. Well, actually, it looks pretty slow to me now that I take a look at it again. Um, but either way, he should be a card that you are able to put at quarterback. Back. I'm sure they'll do a quarterback for George Blanda, but uh, let's take a look then at running back as well. Running back does have some new legends to it as well. You see at the top, Walter Payton, we already talked about him, Marshall Falk making his return to Madden, Marcus Allen and Emmett Smith, Tony Dorsett, the, of course, Bo Jackson, we know he's going to be in Madden every year, Jerome Bettis, Earl Campbell, some big bruisers there, Herschel Walker making his return, Christian Okoye at, now you see what's interesting there is he's listed as a halfback, not a fullback, he has been a fullback previously in Madden, so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of breaks out, Mike Allstott, Maurice Jones-Drew, and I think that's Ricky Williams, although we already have Ricky Williams in the game, so I'm not exactly sure if that's necessarily breaking or, or what the deal is with that um, and why he's only a 73 overall. That might be because I think his card was by default 73 overall. I'm trying to remember, but um, either way, all of those attributes, you can see there's some really nice ones there. Um, I believe the third attribute is actually speed, if I remember correctly. So um, yeah, I mean, definitely some players that we can take advantage of here with our running back position they're they're adding a ton of running backs a ton of quarterbacks so that's pretty cool now let's take a look at cornerback on the defensive side of the ball there's some nice ads there's some nice additions there uh, as well we have uh let's see here night train lane a antoine winfield charles woodson we already talked about all those guys i think uh well no we didn't talk about charles woodson but he is in the game as a cornerback they might end up making also a free safety of charles woodson we'll have to see how that goes ronde barber as well willie brown renfro uh eric allen troy vincent i mean again a bunch of really, really nice cards here. A couple of them are kind of surprisingly slow as well. Like if you look at Antoine Winfield, 87 speed, hopefully that'll get boosted up on his Mutt card. I don't know, but if he's 87 speed, he might not be all that valuable until they put out an ultimate legend of him. And then I'm sure he'll have like 95 speed, so it won't make much of a difference anyway. But as of right now, that's something to be at least something to, to look at when you're when you're looking at these cards. But most of them are right around 90 speed. Uh, we do have, of course, Night Train Lane all the way up there at 95 speed. But for the most part, these guys are pretty similar to one another, it looks like. Um, not a whole lot of attributes sticking out besides Antoine Winfield being relatively slow and Night Train Lane being pretty damn fast. Other than that, uh, we are going to move over to middle linebacker. And middle linebacker has some nice additions to it as well. We've got Ray Nitschke, London Fletcher, Willie Lanier, uh, Mike Singletary, Jack, Jack Ham, Teddy Bruschi. Um, 
Ricky Jackson, Ted Hendricks, John Abraham, I believe that is. And John Abraham, it's interesting because they have him as a linebacker. I seem to remember him mostly playing defensive end, and I know that can be kind of a, um, a hybrid type of thing depending on the defense that you're in. But it's surprising to me that he would be in there at left outside linebacker. Um, Lamar Woodley and then Willie McGinnis as well. So, yeah, a lot of new additions here to Ultimate Team. We've got a lot of legends to choose from. And the last one that I wanted to show you guys was, like I mentioned, kickers and defenses. So you see there, we've got George Blanda. We already talked about him a little bit. So his kicking is pretty damn good. We also have Shane Leckler being added to the game. Um, Leckler is one of the better punters in NFL history, statistically. And uh, he recently left the league. I'm trying to remember if it was last year or two years ago, but he's a recent guy that retired. So it's cool to have him back in the game and being one of the best punters in the game. And then, of course, you look over there at Gary Anderson at the bottom, I think he's still the NFL's all-time leading scorer. If he's not, he's number two and behind Morton Anderson. But those are your legends, guys. And I want to show you one more thing here that was leaked. And these are the uniforms that they're using. I don't know if this is for a solo challenge in the game or what. I'm presuming that it is. What I see is that they're called the Ultimates in the the, the previous screens that you've seen. So I'm assuming that this is the ultimate uniform. And you can see there Jason Taylor, um, Night Train Lane, I think that is on the far right. But uh, there's another screenshot there where you've got everybody kind of huddled around in a circle on the defense. So you get kind of a cool, you know, glimpse in the future of the new uniforms for the ultimates. And I'm not necessarily sure how this is going to be utilized, like I said, but I'm assuming that it's probably going to be some sort of challenge in the game. So there you have it, guys. That's some cool information. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and again, go follow Mutt Leaks on Twitter so that you guys can get this information as quickly as possible. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon.